that's only the second time this year that you're going back to the hotel and getting ready to get on the plane tomorrow, you know, after a win. You know, it's been tough sledding on the road. Uh, what's it feel like to not only win but dominate like this? Yeah, that was, you know, somebody said that since 2004 there hasn't been a road conference win that's been that good. And, you know, I was really, really impressed with our guys and, and uh, because we had the bye this week and we really took advantage of it. First of all, we got some our minds right and some rest and recovery from the tough three games that we had before that and that you know the emotional win before that uh then we went back into the lab and you got to credit e-man and his crew that you know to go against those guys we, we got after it for two days you know two and a half days and got better and you know sometimes as a coach there's a risk to that this time of year because you know you when you're getting after it like the way we did the last couple of days, I mean, even Scott Butterfield said, came to practice and said he was surprised how hard we go, you know, in February or this time of the season. But we felt like we needed to and we needed to make another jump. And these guys were, were excited about it. And you know, it's a credit to the guys that I have that they, they made that jump. I mean, that was the, the best we've moved the ball, the best we've, that our offense has made since. It was the best... You know, on both ends, maybe the best complete game that we played. So, uh, just really proud of our guys. It, you know, we conquered that. You know, we took it on. That hey, we haven't been good enough on the road. You now we we played. You know, who we played Tulsa and Oregon, and you know, at New Mexico, at Nevada, at San Diego State, at Air Force. I mean, we played good opponents on the road, no question. But we had to get better on the road with some grit and some toughness, and, and we certainly did that tonight. Did you feel maybe a sense of momentum or foreshadowing when Justin hits his first three of the night and, and kind of gets no, you guys going? No, I, I sensed the momentum with the practices we had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And as a coach, you just, you know, we were like, okay, I hope that all carries over because we had great preparation. And, you know, we got after them a little bit and they responded in the right way. And, you know, they, you can't do that all year for six months, but we can certainly keep doing it a little bit, and, and they like it. And that's what, I, that's what I love about this group. They let you coach them, and they buy into it. And now they'll even buy in more, uh, you know, because of the success they had with that. With Justinian, though, I think he was four for 23 in the last three road games from three. He hits the one a minute in. Had four yeah. alone in the first half. Yeah. I mean, you, 16 points, and you, you guys needed that. Oh, he had a great look to him, too. You know what I mean? He, he just he felt like everyone was going in. And, uh, you know, they, he knows that these are precious. And, you know, he's been in this thing long enough. And all these seniors have. They know we're coming down the home stretch. They, they, we got to go get stuff done now. And, and I was, you know, nobody's done that to these guys. They've been in every game it's just been little spurts that got them you know where they didn't win and so it was like i said it was a great effort by our guys and, and our staff did a tremendous job like i said not only with the scout because the scout was dead on was, they, they approached right but with the amount of time that we worked on ourselves, how they handled that because it's always a fine line you got to prepare for your opponent but you got to focus on yourself so Justinian is number two now in Mountain West history. There's only one name. He, he passed. He uh, passed Jacobson from Utah, but oh, uh, wow. he is, you know, eight away from breaking Jimmer Fredette's record. I mean, all-time Mountain West scoring leader. Yeah, and that's His name is going to be right that, there with his. I mean, that is such an impressive, especially like I said, the people that he's been passing. Great players, and you know, we know how many shots Jimmer got up, and it's he was good at it. And for Justinian to be doing this, it, it it's just. He just kind of has done it in the dark a little bit as far as how quiet he is, and he's not one of those guys that maybe gets the national attention. But what a great player he is. He was terrific tonight. Your, your defense tonight, I mean, I, yeah. I didn't see the final numbers. They were shooting 35% with a couple minutes to go. Yeah. You guys had, I think they had a stretch and, in the first half and the second half where they went five minutes without scoring. Well, and, and the, the, I mean, you look at what Justinian did defensively. New Williams, I was watching him, you and I, I think, were watching him shoot it in pregame. Oh, he's got a clip now. That kid can shoot. Jay, he goes 0 for 7 tonight, and you know, you, you got to credit. The only points he got was on fouls, and Justin even played terrific defense tonight. And and it, and it was, you know, I didn't sub him until the very, very end. So, well, that's a pretty tough kid that can do that. You think about the way you won the game the other night. Now you get a road win. A couple home games coming up, and can this be the, the start of something here? 
Well, you know, we take them, you know, not the coach speak, but it's one and oh. And, uh, but, hey, I felt it. I felt it in the last few days of practice. And, you know, we've got the San Jose team that we, we need a great crowd. We need, an, you know, we don't have that many chances to, to see these guys. And they've been entertaining. They've been fun. They, they, they're great to watch with the way they move the ball. And I think we are getting better as a team. And so we need a big crowd here for these games. Because San Jose, they beat New Mexico. They beat Nevada, and then they beat Air Force. They're good. It's not the old days. It's it's we're gonna have our hands full on Wednesday. We need a great crowd there. You haven't had too many of these where I don't say laughter, but where it wasn't in doubt. You know, later in the game, how what's that? What was that like? Just to get some other guys in the game. And see well, where... that Don Brown Utah State game was in the back of my mind. I was like, <laughs> let's see, four minutes to go. We got to be up by thirty, I yeah. guess. You know, because I think that's gonna do that to a lot of coaches now. Because I mean, you know, it, it's a, in this day and age. It, you, Sometimes that happens.